next update is. Yes. Okay. So the next update is called the wild update. Oh my god. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Look at that. Sounds of mobs, aren't they? The wild update sounds very, very intriguing. So what Indeed. does it encompass? So the word wild mainly means like two things for us. So the first thing is like beautiful nature. And the second thing is like really scary challenges and adventures. Okay. Oh, that sounds awesome. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have some of our gameplay designers come and tell us more about specific things about the wild update because there's these different parts to it. And we have the first one more here, danger. which is our deep dark expert, Brandon. Oh, Hello. Hi, Brandon. Hi. Welcome. Thank the deep you. dark's part of the wild so, update. Oh, the deep dark into this update. Can Ooh. you talk to us more about why? Yes, I mean, one of the biggest things about the Deep Dark and the Warden and the Skulk is that it's just expanded. It's gotten bigger and we've, we really wanted to make sure that we did this right and that we didn't just rush it. Um, that includes even unique loot inside the Deep Dark as well. And yeah, um, we also want to make sure that uh, we... Hold on! Sorry. <laughs> unique loot! Uh, let's actually look at the some Deep of Dark. The okay, now they're giving us reasons to go right down now, there and die. <laughs> they're giving us reasons. Cities. That's awesome. Whoa! Wait. Oh, wow. Wait, it said cities! Oh! Oh my fucking god! Okay, all right, okay, shit. Oh, shit. Is that new block? Is that new block? What is that? Ooh! Holy shit! What is that up there? What is that? What is wow, that pattern? What is that like fucking both pattern? Beautiful and terrifying at the same time. Like, I have so many emotions when I look <laughs> yes. at that deep dark biome. Oh my yes, god. I really mean, <laughs> didn't want the deep dark biome to just be, you know, caves or just skulks. No, I don't around. think those are mushrooms. I think those are blocks with patterns. Mystery to it. Um, and, you know, there's this ancient Cave city. Cave What is it dude. doing there? We're not going to tell the players. We're just going to let them go throughout and explore and see what they come to. Um, and there's even this, like, ancient structure in the middle of every single city and it's got something interesting about it that you're going to have to explore Void cities, game. dude. It's really cool. Void I, civilizations. I, like, it feels like a place you want to explore. Yes. I love that it really deepens the At the bottom of the world. Of Minecraft. Holy like, fuck. Minecraft is all about player stories and Deep Dark definitely inspires There's the no way that's a poll. That's so cool. Shut so up. Last year you showed it, it was us in a square. Skulk it was... Center, but I know you've been working on it. A little Skulk family? <laughs> uh, yes. A Skulk family? Like, like, <laughs> is it yeah, maybe they're not so cute. <laughs> they're not so friendly, no. Yeah, last year we focused a lot on the Skulk sensor, but since then we've kind of been trying to figure out what do all the different blocks in the Skulk family do. And one of them actually is something called a Skulk Catalyst. And the main thing about the Skulk Catalyst is it's actually what causes the Skulk to spread. As you can see here, whenever a mob dies, such as a zombie, near the Skulk Catalyst, it actually spreads the Skulk underneath it. And the amount is based on how much XP that zombie would have dropped. Oh. So, you know, the deep dark oh. is kind of over That's busted for farms. Oh my that god, you put this next to a mob grinder? grinder? Quite a lot, yes. <laughs> Make it less scary. Oh, and as you can see here, when you mine some of the skull blocks, you actually get enchanting points. Yes, and of course, if you still want to get some of the blocks for decoration or something, you can just use a silk touch. And then we have the Skulk Shrieker. <laughs> so when this block is activated, mm -hmm, it's gonna give that really scary shriek sound that you hear heard now. Oh my and fucking it god! It gives this darkness effect, so it's like pulsating darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Even C 
see now when you're sneaking and you step on a Oh my there, god, that looks insane. Looks wow, so okay, good. Okay, definitely not a friendly family. Holy and shit. And I will say to our younger viewers, in a, so in a minute scary. we're going to show you a clip that's a little bit Like you still scarier, touch that and just put it anywhere? I just, I mean, Brandon, oh. those have so many things that players can do with them. Like that's what do you imagine amazing. them doing? I think the skull catalyst is going to be really interesting because, you know, when you, you could create a mob farm with a like through the tech community. Um, yeah. Usually, when a mob dies, it doesn't drop XP unless you, the player, actually kills it. Uh -huh. So with this, you Enderman might be able farm. to create some sort of XP farm. Ooh. Yeah. There's lots of opportunities. That's that's and a you lot. Can like experiences for other players. Like imagine building like a haunted mansion or a really dark forest, and then you have the shriekers. That's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> so then you know when players out walking and then they activate the shriek and hear like. <laughs> Because self touch the shriek. Just, the shriek you do of block. That all you do around that. your world, and just whenever anyone's visiting, well, I'm you. not going to visit your world. <laughs> Shriekers. But you could set them shrieking. up at different locations. We have a community so that when you walk through you. a tunnel mm -hmm. or walk into a Hi, new build area, it triggers, and you get this like intro effect. Speaker. Yeah, I mean, that's an interesting question. From the art side, we actually had the inspiration behind the human larynx, which oh, is like shit. the vocal cord or vocal structure or something, just something that represents kind of creating sounds. And from the gameplay perspective, we wanted to make sure that, first of all, the warden spawns in a unique way, and also in a way that you can avoid it. So usually you can kind of sneak around, and as long as you don't activate the, the alley uh, skull triggers, yeah, alley then one. the warden won't would. come. But if it was you closer, do right? make too many noises and the Skulk Shrieker activates too many times, the Warden will come. Oh my god, oh my god, wait, it just spawns in. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh my god, it just spawns in. It sends a heartbeat. You are fucking... It's just a horror game now. Can you self touch? Oh my god, you self touch. You can self touch. Okay, right. We can move it. We can move it wherever we want. Oh my god, oh my god it came out of the floor. It came out of the fucking floor. Fuck off. Oh! Darkness effect! They're in full netherite chat, remember that. Did the snowball, yep, did the snowball. Oh my god. Chat, it fucking came out of the floor. It crawls. Out. He's dead, he's dead. Holy shit, it does more than half. I'm kind of back to thinking that the Skulk family is very adorable and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> After seeing that, wow, yes. there is a lot there, Brandon. Definitely a lot to unpack. I mean, oh, the right. first thing Two hits. is that the Warden actually emerges underground. So that means you know that Wardens are kind of in the deep dark, in the walls, under the floor. <laughs> And it also has developed a sense of smell. So, of course, you can sneak around and try what? to be you know, quiet and not de get detected. But unfortunately, the warden's still going to be able to sniff you out and find where you are. And if it sniffs oh, you while well, you're really close okay. by, then it's going to start noticing you. Wait, so basically the warden is like, smell that? It's happening. And just like going for the Pretty players? much, yes. Oh, it's not going to be fun for you. No, you can't, you can't, you, can't you have to run. You have to the fucking run. Sneaking gameplay, because we haven't really had that before. So, you know, you are in the deep dark, everything's super dark, and you're sneaking, trying you can't to find just wait treasures, there for it to trying go to away. avoid the warden. I think it's something really exciting with that. It's really, really cool. I mean, I think you have definitely upped the terrifying level, Brandon. And I just love we how need to much do science you expanded chat. the deep dark. When this gets released, so, we need to do science so immersive, before I even touch yes, my definitely. hardcore world. It's really amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. There will probably be a deep dark below my season four world. Like, right below my spawn. He's so expert. Like, if you want to do something scary, it's like, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brandon. Thank you Thank so much, Brandon. Build so up. Agnes, True. the deep dark. They haven't shown what it'll do, but we came out with a sort of fucking ground. Side you think, of, you think the building up is going to stop which it? The name is starting to really become know. clear after talking to Brandon. <laughs> it spawned out of the, the fucking ground. It's really this 
more of that. Who's to say they won't make a climb? You know, the atmosphere of Minecraft. Yes. So we want to like celebrate the wilderness of Minecraft. And one thing we want to focus on is immersion. So when you play Minecraft, we really want you to feel that you're Can't inside believe they added the underground Minecraft. cities. Actually, That's like, so fucking cool. Now. It's like better than a stronghold. <laughs> and we also have, want to focus or have focused on With biodiversity. So we want to find like a unique identity for different biomes. Oh, for example, the birch forest, as you can see in this beautiful concept art. So in the birch forest, we want it to be like tall nice birch. and peaceful, and the sun reaches the ground. The trees are tall. I hate the normal flowers, birch forest. Flowers. They're fucking annoying. They're just it's really like really short. Beautiful. It looks very Swedish. They're really like the short forest. and that's just like true. that's actually dense. a Swedish forest. Yeah, it's that's gorgeous. such a cool and way of having have, a birch so forest. It's so you much nicer. You want to add more atmosphere to the different biomes, <laughs> but there's one biome that you want. I mean, I would say you're giving it quite an overhaul. It's getting a lot more in the wild yes, update. Yes, that's true, and that's the swamp. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> our art team is just so amazing. It's such a beautiful concept art, and as you can see here, the atmosphere is really different from. They're adding from fireflies. The birch forest it really is. It's amazing. So we have another one of our gameplay designers here, and they have to be adding fireflies. For Corey, welcome, Corey. Oh, it might hey, just Corey. be in the face. Hey, it's absolutely wild to be here. <laughs> oh no, Corey, the puns. The lily pad so change quick. as well. Yeah. Just start. I mean, it's Corey after all. <laughs> yeah, it's very. <laughs> I like Corey. It's cool. So you're going to tell us about all of the. Ex I mean, there's a lot of exciting things coming to the swamp. We so made uh, tropic what crafts. What are we getting? Yes, there are a lot of awesome things coming. The first of which is the boat with the chest in it. Oh! They fucking added it! That was from like... That was from when we had to vote for... <laughs> oh, that's fucking cool. That's gonna be so useful. Early game. This moving shit. Oh, dude, it's you can so put shulkers in that too. And oh. relaxing. Yes, and especially now, you know, in Kiss and Crisp Part 2, we have even That's wider kind of rivers. <laughs> so it's easier to travel water, so it's gonna be like extra useful. Yeah, and like in the good. aquifers as well. <gasps> yes, so like when you go rafting, in the caves, you can like put your diamonds in the chest in your boat. Oh, yeah, and really watch your amazing. diamonds fall and into a pit. And you've been working on what I think now will be my favorite tree in Minecraft. <laughs> yes, we are adding the Put all your valuables in this boat chest. And then so you can dive here, into a cave. Propagule. And propagules there grow from mangrove trees. They're actually like ready to grow uh, mangrove, mini mangroves growing from the mangrove. And oh. you can see here the mangrove tree grows propped up on root blocks. Uh, it has vines hanging down from the leaves. The propagules are actually growing underneath the leaves. They actually grow from the leaves themselves. Swaps look like and swaps I really now. Like Holy how the shit. propagules are looking here. And okay, I'm just going to nerd out on propagules for a minute. Okay, so please in real Corey, life, please, the propagules please. grow, like I said, from the mangrove tree. And uh -huh. then when they fall into the water, or like, let's say they fall into water, they could float for up to a year before they plant themselves Holy in the, the like, water, under, underneath the water or on land, wherever they happen to land. And mangrove trees themselves are actually amazing for like local ecosystems, fighting climate change for local communities. They're Corey's big on climate trees, stuff. And I'm really, really excited that we're adding them to Minecraft. That's yeah, awesome. That's really and cool. this is the first sapling that you can plant underwater. Yeah, you can plant it underwater and on land as well. That's so cool. When you first that's showed so me the mangroves cool. and you talked about your favorite thing, the propagules, I actually remember playing in mangroves in Florida and we would use them. Yeah, I remember like what I said earlier about like the mods community and like I said, cool. if you do that's a mod that's good enough, you'll get Minecraft. hired by Mojang. So, so exciting. And of course, where that, that boy, a that tree, boy sitting on the, on the seat? There must be a new wood type. Yes. He made Tropicrafts, which was a mod type. And for like Minecraft. When we add a new tree. And now he's working for them. So happy. Like, we get so many questions from the community, like, will there be a new wood type? <laughs> and, and therefore, we're so happy that we were able to add a new Ooh. wood type for the mangroves. Okay. And look at it. I think it's, it's like really a it's pretty. like a less intense and also jungle. See, like, all the blocks here. Log. It's gonna be like a full set for the kind of pink. Be, like doors and trapdoors. That's and cute. Stuff. That's cute. That's gorgeous. I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like I'm so excited about mangroves, but I just need to mention another thing because <laughs> we we decided to go with like really big roots, and I think those are so cool. And we actually yeah. prototyped quite a lot back and forth and it was a bit tricky to decide how the road should look like as you see in this picture here but now i'm so happy that we went with the like multi-block routes yeah it's, it looks for example, so good when you like go with the 
a boat, and then you can go under the mangroves, and I think that adds such oh, a nice oh, feeling to it. Yeah, man. like in this picture. It's really nice at Mosso. Man, this is beautiful. I, I really so agree. Much like, better. I, was <laughs> I really loved that feeling of like being underneath it, being yeah. like just this huge feeling. And I, I wanted more. I wanted to be surrounded by mangroves. Yeah. So I was like, hmm, it's pretty sick. why don't I just make a mangrove swamp biome where I'm completely surrounded by them? So as you can see in this video, walking oh. around, you're just completely surrounded in the mangrove swamp. Is that new dirt? Is that new? Is that new? What is that? Like in real life. And you have what all the that? mangroves propped up on their roots growing in the water so you can take your boat underneath like Agnes. Is that mycelium? And I can't tell. And you're completely surrounded by the awesome beauty No, of it. no, it's, it's something so new. It's like oh, clear. It's I like mean, during the sunset, every time I was testing, I would actually like pause the day night cycle just to watch the sunset in the mangrove swamp. It was super beautiful. It's mud. They've it's added mud. Absolutely gorgeous. I noticed that that was not dirt. <laughs> Good eye, Lydia. That was wet dirt, otherwise known as mud. <laughs> That's amazing. So you've actually added mud to do something really cool. Oh, fuck yeah, off. So you can just do it. <laughs> oh, my God. First that's amazing. Is you can just make it. You a dirt block and anyway. put a water bottle on it, this and you can get more mud. <laughs> and then the other one is if you take your mud block and you stick it on top of the dripstone. Oh, my God. sort of like drip the water out of clay. the mud and eventually dried out, which turns into clay. So I love the renewable clay. Like, I always We can make water. renewable clay. <laughs> yeah, your local mason isn't going to be super oh. happy with you. That's actually true. I I have this one. That's mason, fucking huge. I went to a mason in my village, and I always change with them. You're taking that is a huge. Job. Finally, yeah, renewable clay. Now, but still renewable clay. Yeah, it's really really cool. And you're also using mud to make a new block. Yes, we're also adding mud bricks. So mud bricks are really really exciting like building block. And as you can see here, the the brick texture is actually different is than nice. the other stone bricks that we have. That in is the game. very cool. So they're sort of smaller, more compact. But it is really cool, like to build with. It matches a lot of different block sets, and I, I'm really excited to build with. Yeah, them. that's 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 good. I just love the look of them. They're awesome. Can we get chisels? So beautiful. We have a creator question for the two of you. Uh-huh. I'm so excited they asked this question because I really wanted to answer it. So the main reason that I wanted to add mud bricks to the game is that I really wanted people to feel like, they're okay, all around the world, there are houses built out of mud bricks. So true, many people true, around the, the world have houses, buildings using mud bricks. And I really wanted people who are playing Minecraft to feel like they could build their home and feel like they're at home in Minecraft. So I'm really glad we got to add them. To that. They've it's added amazing. mud. I think yes, Tommy's going to have a so new favorite block. That, like, everyone feels I think Cobble's taking the back seat chat when this update comes oh, out. That is... That is absolutely amazing. Now, so we have like amazing new trees. We have mud everywhere. <laughs> we definitely need something very cute. Yes. Well, very cute and quite oh derpy because we're adding oh my God. rocks. Yes, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that helps! I'm just like, eh. <laughs> I fell! <laughs> I just dunked into the water. Oh my god, that's so cute. Can we get different types? They are cute and derpy. That's the perfect description of them. <gasps> Adorable. The croaking is amazing. <laughs> and did you see the one that jumped like backwards? <laughs> One's all in the water. <laughs> <and it's rocks. laughs> yes. And they do, like they do love to jump around and especially on lily pads and actually also on big grip leaves because I mean the big grip leaves kind of look like lily pads. But the funny thing with that is then when they jump on top of the big grip leaves, it's going to tilt and then they fall down. One of them oh. did it just... <laughs> Maybe it's a sort of like derpy. frog slide. No. <laughs> <laughs> be pretty funny. And you're adding another little, little tiny creature Itty to this bitty. update. Yes, another one. Fireflies. I fucking caught it. So yes. You see them roaming around, adding a lot of ambience to the swamp. That is so much. Like nice oh. and cozy at night. But really, my favorite part of them is just making the world come to life. Like feeling like there is life going on all around you. And <gasps> oh yeah, also the oh. frog food. <laughs> yeah, forgot to mention that they're frog food. Oh oh yeah, but look how happy that frog is. Yeah, we need fireflies. We frogs. need a lot of them. So how do we capture them? So we can them? both enjoy them in the atmosphere and the They're like two city, pixels. So you know, but at night time, holy now, shit. That ambient effect is going to be fucking is huge. Is that what you called them growing up? 
Actually, no. We called them lightning bugs. I did too. And in Swedish, it's it's eldflugor, and that's actually literally translates to fireflies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's very interesting. It became like a lot of people talking about what you called it growing up. But we're really excited to have fireflies. Are they going to have to add like a net in the game? Mm-hmm. I want to know more about baby frogs. Mm-hmm. Are we going to yes. be able to Sorry. capture the old baby mobs in Minecraft? I guess like. Frogs? Tiny versions of the grown-ups, but with frogs, we are actually adding tadpoles. Look at them! Look at them! <laughs> oh. Once again, you deliver on the promise of cute and derpy with the tadpoles. Me too. <laughs> okay, so we got a baby version of the frog too. Yes, and that's actually extra helpful for the tadpoles, because we have frog variants and when a tadpole grows up it will pick a variant depending on the temperature in the biome it grows up in. so for example if it grows up in a really cold place it's going to turn into a snowy frog yeah as you can see here oh my god oh my god oh so my god oh my god all the, the different types of frogs like two oh my god system. oh my god one is the tadpole system oh. and the other one is the cold-blooded system oh. so frogs are like the first cold-blooded can we get a tropical frog minecraft cory and in cory actually our frog variant did you add a tropical a boy uh, Cory, cr- creator like, of Tropicraft, cr- Cory! <laughs> depending on the temperature. And we wanted to have that Did you add tropi- like tropi- Minecraft tro- 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 Tropical boy? So therefore, boy? the tadpole's going to pick Little a variant tropical boy? That, depending on, on the temperature. That's so cool. Can and we- there are three variants. Show us! Be three okay, Please! So we've seen two. What's okay. the third one? The third one is the tropical frog. Yes! <laughs> so let's say you were venturing out into the desert or the jungle. And you take your, <laughs> your tadpole with you. And if it grows up there, it's going to be a <laughs> tropical frog. And I, what I really love about the tropical frog is oh how God, just relaxed like they look. And they're like blending into the sand almost. They're just so relaxed. Oh. Just chilling there. Yeah. Cute. And I, I think Cute. there's a reason that they were yes, there, that way. Yes, there is a reason that they are white. So like, I was reading a lot about frogs. Always when we had something new, we read up a lot. Yeah, it'll be an accurate fun, reason really why. <laughs> and then I learned about the real life frog that's called gray foam nest tree frog and lives, for example, in Angola, Botswana, and Kenya. And that frog can actually turn almost white to avoid overheating. So that's like the inspiration for the tropical frog in I, Minecraft. I love all three of them. Right. And you didn't... so. You have these different color variations, but you also Tadpole have in the bucket. else special about the frogs. Yes. So each Take it to a biome you want, get the frog you want. That will be useful for the players. But we actually don't even know what that is yet because we are working on the frogs right now. Okay, okay. That is so okay, cool. So it's so actually going to be a use. Like the, like the, the, um, oh, the scoots, be the, the, the turtle scoots. It looks so cozy. Ooh, I'm, I'm trying. Are we going to get something frog. from the frog? I'm very interested to see which one the community loves yes, the most. I or I love mean, them all. All of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you so much for joining Frogs us, time? Corey, and uh, taking us into Potions? a deep dive of all really cool swamp things. Yeah, yeah happy Thank to be here. Thank you, Corey. It could Thank be slime. Corey. It could be a slime farm. <laughs> Bye, Corey. So many it could be another method of getting slime. I like that, though. This Cheers, is Corey. See you later. Quite an awesome update, and I mean, I really see the name for the wild update. You get a bit the of message, Corey. Now, in actually, it. <laughs> yes, and I love Man. the contrast. Yeah, as you can so see, so excited. <laughs> I really like that beautiful nature and the super terrifying deep dark, and I love that contrast between these two things. It's absolutely. I knew amazing. you'd add a tropical well, boy. We're getting close to the end of the show, and as Thank always, you. The time has flown by. <laughs> And a 